Alice, effervescent and witty, thrives on social interaction. She believes that her life is an open book, and her best friend Bella is her dedicated reader. Every phone call, every text, every interaction is relayed to Bella, with the most minute details dissected and discussed. Alice feels a compulsion to share her life's drama with Bella, the highs and the lows, the triumphs and the trials. She can't imagine a day without Bella's voice on the other end of the line, listening, advising, and comforting. It seems heartwarming, doesn't it? But delve a little deeper, and you'll find that Alice's constant need for Bella's attention is a classic hallmark of relationship addiction. Now let's move our gaze to Bella, a picture of calm and composure. Bella enjoys her time with Alice, but she also values her own space and solitude. She doesn't feel the need to share every minute detail of her life, nor does she feel incomplete without Alice's constant presence. Bella, in stark contrast to Alice, exhibits a healthy, balanced relationship. The difference between Alice and Bella's behavior is a clear illustration of the concept of codependency and relationship addiction. Alice's incessant need to share, to engage, to be heard, stems from an underlying fear of being alone, a fear of not being needed. This is relationship addiction. On the other hand, Bella's ability to enjoy her own company, to keep some parts of her life private, and to not depend on Alice for emotional validation, exemplifies a non-addictive relationship. So, what are the main points about codependency and relationship addiction? First, it's about a powerful and unhealthy emotional dependency on another person, as seen in Alice's behavior. Second, it's about a constant need for validation, a need so strong that it often leads to emotional exhaustion for both parties involved. Third, it's about a fear of being alone, a fear so crippling that it overshadows the joy of individuality and personal growth. On the other hand, a non-addictive relationship as portrayed by Bella, cherishes individuality, respects personal space, and does not rely on constant validation. It's about understanding that, while sharing life with others is beautiful, it's equally important to enjoy your own company, to grow as an individual, and to maintain a healthy boundary between self and others. In a world where the line between connection and addiction is often blurred, it's important to understand these concepts. Because at the end of the day, a healthy relationship is about balance, about give and take, about understanding and respect, and most importantly, about loving yourself as much as you love others.